Hello, uh, today we are back on the farm here with Michael McGrain where we fitted last year, we fitted a Crybrook slat rubber, a 14 foot 6 slat and we covered the, the toe and there was no heel, his cubicle's up at the back. Uh, Michael is here with us today, just going to give a, a brief chat about the rubber and what, what he thinks of it. Um. This particular shed uh, for a couple of years was no rubber and I'd say no rubber is a bad job anyway. Uh, I looked around a bit here and there for uh, rubber and um, Tom Condon's. Uh, we do a little bit of dealing with them and uh, he came up with this cry verb and I was really overtook with it. I thought it was excellent rubber before I even seen it down. So we nearly bought it there and then uh, came up, uh, measured, fit it to an excellent quality, the way it was fitted all around the toe, uh, the whole scene was absolutely perfect. So the year tested it, uh, we had cattle on the shed the first year, um, got sore and lameness and slipping and with the Kriber rubber it seems to sort out all the problems with the result they were 50 kilo heavier leaving the shed and that's what it was all about. Uh, I wouldn't pass uh, this particular, we have rubbers in different sheds. This is the one uh, that I'd go for ever again. I wouldn't even entertain that mess. That's uh, perfect, yeah. And you'd, uh, you were saying there, lameness as well. You'd have brought less lameness in yes, the shed compared well, to when it was in concrete. Yes, this shed is traditional dairy stuck from dairy cows and they're always prone to lameness a lot more than continental cattle and we haven't taken one animal out of it that was lame which was hard unbelievable i had a, a kind of a casualty shed beside it uh, every year and three and four in it you'd, maybe you'd put them to grass then after a while but the casualty shed was idle this year so uh, all in all uh, i'd be very very happy with the whole situation very good, very good. And how many uh, cattle would you have in this, this pen? You see, there's no divisions. 80 here, 80 in this shed. And, uh, you know, looked like you could put more in it. I don't think there was a problem at all with that. Um, the tribe was the biggest thing on, on the particular thing. But then most mats probably you'll, will get a better tribe. Let's, true, let's yeah. face it. But uh, when you look at the shed after <clears throat> 12 months, there's not a piece of it came up. Uh, hard to believe you did, when you wash it it's like new uh, you know which is hard to believe I saw other quality mats and digging up in corners and, and uh, you know I'd be very happy with the situation and, and the company that have done it uh, that's really that's all really I have to job. say on it no appreciate it and uh, looks like a good job and so if it, goes, if it does my lifetime, it'll do another 20 years. <laughs> I won't be too worried about rubber. <laughs> <laughs> very true. Okay, that's it. Thanks very much, Michael. Bye-bye.